the greatest gift that we have is is is, is waqt, is time. And that Rasul Mal is interesting. The hundred thousand that you have, you could invest in good things or bad things, and you either you can make or you lose, and you can go into negative. But if you decide to say that I have a very busy day today, let me keep this hundred thousand today. I tried throughout the day, throughout this week, nothing much happened. But today is Jumu'ah. I don't want to be doing this. Let me focus on something else. So what's going to happen? That hundred thousand is going to be as is. You come back at Maghrib and Isha time, it's going to be there. But the Ra'sul Mal, you and I dealing with the capital, you and I deal with is not like that. It is such that if you keep it to the side, and you say I've got something very important to tend to, every minute that you tend to that, that thing is decreasing. You're losing on it. You're decreasing. There's no such thing as, let me store it away until I have the energy and the resources to put my mind to it. It doesn't work like that. Every minute that is passing is moving forward. And here, we, lo and behold, we've come to an end of, a, of an year. A few months ago, you remember, I was discussing the Hijri year. And now here we are at the end of the, uh, of the, the Gregorian year. And, and subhanAllah, we can all probably remember where we were last December, where we were on this day, where we were uh, in, in the holidays. And as quick as we can imagine, it's all over, so quick. Students, those who are not married have gotten married. Those who didn't have children already have now children. Those who had few have more. Those who didn't have jobs now do. Those who had jobs lost them. Those who are just uh, looking to get into you know, a, a grade school have now moved forward. I mean, milestones have, huge milestones we have passed just in this one year. And of course, at an international level, at a domestic level, at a national level, so many massive events have taken place that have changed the course of history uh, for good, for good. Uh, and, and that is something we witnessed this year. So this Rasul Mal, you and I have to ask ourselves this capital, what are we doing with it? Allah Jalla Jalaluhu, throughout the Quran, that's why he takes an oath on day and night. And he even takes an oath on, as the famous ayah, wal asr, the oath of time. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, after taking the oath of time, says a be beautiful statement, straightforward. This is a fact. This is not speculation. This is a fact. Inna al insana lafi khusr, the entire hum human race, the entire human race is on the way, on the trajectory of destruction. Everyone, everyone, except a few exceptions. Except for the few exceptions. Who are those exceptions? إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاصُوا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصُوا بِالصَّبْرِ Except for those who believe, who have faith. وَتَوَاصُوا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصُوا بِالصَّبْرِ And along with that, he doesn't just have faith and good deeds, but with that, a person is constantly inviting people towards good, creating wake, wake up calls. That stay awake and ensure everyone around you is awake. Tawasub al-haq, wa tawasub al-sabr. And is also along with that, inviting people to be patient. Because when you tell people to do what's right, they'll get upset at you. They'll get upset at you, they'll get angry at you. We say, why don't you mind your own business? So now at this time, a person will say, sabr. We have to tell each other, remain patient. Just because I'm inviting you to something good, you don't need to get upset at me. You don't need to get angry at me, that why me? This is out of brotherly love and sisterly love that we are creating an environment of mutual reminding. Brothers and sisters, now it's, 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 it's a time for, for me, for you, all of us to look down and see. When Allah says, إِنَّ سَعْيَكُمْ لَشَتَّى Indeed, your affairs are different. Your affairs are very varied. What's happening? What, what direction are we in? The passing of days, some days are good, some days are not so great, we may, we may say. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَتِلْكَ الْأَيَّامُ نُدَاوِلُهَا بَيْنَ النَّاسِ These days, these days that come, like there's Ra'sul Mal, this capital, like the market outside, some days it goes up and some days it goes down. Similarly, the days of your life, some days there are what you want them to be, and some days they aren't what you want them to be. But it, what goes around comes around. No one has a life that's always the way they want it to be. And no one has a life that is never what they want it to be. There's definitely moments, if you think things are going really, really bad for you, go to the bathroom and you are able to relieve yourself. Khalas, that's it. Remember, that's half of the kingdom right there. If you think your life is going really bad, go to the water fountain and drink. And if you're able to get water from there and drink, that's a half of the world that you own right there, according to the Amir al-Mu'mineen. Right? So things apparently may seem going very wrong for us. But when we look at it in the grand scheme of things and how Allah has been with us in the past, we'll realize that no, it's not as bad as we make it to be. وَتِلْكَ الْأَيَّامُ نُدَاوِلُهَا بَيْنَ النَّاسِ Allah saying, these are the days that we make it go around amongst people. Sometimes the way you want it, sometimes you don't. وَلِيَعْلَمَ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَيَتَّخِذَ مِنْكُمْ شُهَدَاءَ And believers will know. Believers will come to know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is completely in control. So when we when we won or when things go our way, it's not because we're smart or because we are prepared. It's because Allah is with us. And when things go the other way 
and it pushes us away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not that we are not adequately prepared. It's simply possibly we have angered Allah. Possibly we've done something to uh, get ourselves away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's assistance. So th these days, the, the passing of these days should be a reminder. If you're going through a, a, an up time, a high time, well remember there was a time that wasn't so high. And if you're going through a low time, then remember that there was times before this that were very enjoyable.